It's official. I've moved from what I need in life to what I want in life. And the reason I say that is because I fired my first official hire today, like probably like less than 15, 20 minutes ago. Because I have standards, because I'm preserving order, right? We don't maintain order. We preserve order. And to preserve, you have to eliminate. And the reason I say that is because, I mean, just the situation, this job right here where my backyard is tore up, it was, it was a job with some plumbers. And so um, while they started, I'm in the middle of doing an application for financing. And they're aware that the application hasn't come back. And my uh, property manager, he keeps saying, hey, man, do we have the money to pay them? And I'm saying to him, tell them to come back and level out my yard so I don't have another sinkhole in the future. We're solving problems once and for all. We're not creating more problems. Um, we need to preserve order. We need to maintain our, well, preserve our standards. And... Uh, Um, I just told him I'm not like, I haven't got the application back. So he's like, just let me know when that happens. I'm like, okay, yeah, but are you understanding what I'm saying to, like to you? Like, did you verify that the, all the water is working in everyone's units? That the, what, the, the ground is leveled out. And he had done a couple things too, where he put me in a group chat with the plumber, the vendor. And he was like, all right, Demetrius, Cameron, we need to pay them. And then the guy, he's like saying, you know, such and such, we did this, we did that. And, you know, we had to go a little bit late because it was this and that. And then my property manager is like, Cameron, are you there? And it's like nine o'clock at night. I'm like, well, first off, I'm not going to answer you at nine o'clock at night. Like we like you're professional. I'm professional. They're, they have a professional business. Get back to me at nine in the morning when like that's business hours. Two, you're already aware that the application hasn't gone through. Three. I already told the plumber that he needs to talk to you about payment. He doesn't need to talk to me about payment. Four, when you do stuff like that, it just makes you look like you're unstable. Like I don't have the money or like um, they can just come in, tell you what they're going to do. And then you're just going to have to just deal with it because my freaking yard is, is a mess. And it's like they should have just they should have fixed up my yard appropriately before they left and we're like, oh, we're just gonna come in in one day and then be done. When it's like the yard is a mess, it's gonna be another, this is gonna be another problem because I'm gonna have sinkholes as soon as it rains. It's like, and then I'm telling him, I'm like, listen, man, we gotta keep our order. We gotta like, we're doing all this to preserve, you know, provide a good environment for the tenants to live in so that they're safe, secure, they're stable. And he's being unstable. He's making it seem that I'm insecure. His insecurities are causing me to look insecure in front of the people he's hired. So now they feel like they can just say and do whatever they want when they haven't even held any standards. And that's what I'm explaining to him. I'm like, are you understanding that? Are you listening? And his response, oh, well, uh, let me know when you get the 5,500. I'm like, did you hear anything I just said? And then, he's, then he says, he's like, if I get any pushback, I'll be terminating management of this agreement, of this property. I'm like, okay, I agree. I agree to that because right now he is bumbling, right? Bumbling. Like so much is just, yeah, that app is dumb. Bumbling because you don't be, you don't like, if there's an order of things, he already knows to talk to you. Don't put me in a group chat with him. Talk to him. Come to a resolution creatively. Let me know what happens, and then you'll get. He'll get some new information. You, he, and I explained this to him. Him and I will have a conversation. We'll come to a resolution, and then we'll give them the information that they need to have for them to make a decision on. Not like, oh, let's just all just hash this out in front of each other. Like, man, come on, that's not how business goes. It's closed doors for a reason. Oh, and and again, the reason is unsettled right <laughs> it's it's unsettled it's not even the point though is the standards are not being held and accounted for and i haven't i haven't been noticing this lately because he was like he was needing me to be here while he talked with the tenants which 
I don't need to be anywhere. You can just call me on the phone and have a conversation with me. So um, it's reasons like that and others which are just like, I was like, yeah, you're just not maintaining order. You're not listening to me. He's really being unstable and insecure about this payment, which is like, he's like, if, like, if you don't pay them, they'll lean the property. Let them lean the property. That's what they want to do. That has nothing to do with what you need to be doing and what your responsibilities are to, are to do. It's like, oh my goodness, someone asks you to pay them some money that you owe them. <gasps> oh no. Welcome to business, right? It's all about an entanglement. Like, golly. I, oh, oh, they put a lien on a I got a lien on someone else's property. It don't change nothing. It don't change a thing. It's going to get paid. So don't lose your head over a small paycheck. <laughs> Anyways, my point is that I'm living a life I want and not a life I need. He's like, we need to pay them. No, we want to pay them because we want this service from them. Simple as that. Very well.